Hi, question number 5 taken from October 2014, Advanced Civil Maths HSC P3. The complex numbers W and Z satisfy the relation W is equal to Z plus I over IZ plus 2. First part, f given that Z is equal to 1 plus I, find W, giving your answer in the form X plus IY, where X and Y are, are real. And for the second part, given instead that W is equal to Z and the real part of Z is negative, find Z, giving your answer in the form X plus IY, where X and Y are real. Okay, so <clears throat> this is question number five. For the first part, we are told that W is equal to Z plus I over IZ plus 2. So we're further given that z is equal to 1 plus i. So what can we do? We need to express w in the form of uh, x plus iy. w should be expressed in the form of x plus iy. Okay, <clears throat> so it's t um, just a question of substitution, I suppose. So we have w is equal to z, and z is 1 plus i. So z can be 1 plus i plus the i, all divided by 1, I mean, i, z. <clears throat> Therefore, i multiplied by 1 plus i, because z is 1 plus i, plus z, sorry, plus 2, plus 2. All right, and therefore we have 1 plus 2i, okay, divided by 1 times i is i, i times i is i squared, plus 2. So... 1 plus 2i, okay, all divided by, what is i square? i square is minus 1. Okay, so we have then i, okay, plus minus 1 plus 2. All right, so minus 1 plus 2. Right, so that's going to be then i, I so 1 plus 2i, all divided by 2 minus 1 is 1, and uh, we have plus i. Now at this stage we can go further by using the conjugate of the denominator. So we're going to multiply by instead of 1 plus i, so it's going to be 1 minus i all divided by 1 minus i. Multiply that, you have 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times minus i is minus i, minus 2i times 1 is minus 2i, I mean sorry, 2i plus 2i times 1 is 2i, so 1 times 1 is 1, minus i, plus 2i, and 2i times minus i is minus 2i squared, divided by 1 times 1 is 1 squared, plus minus cancels out, i times i is i, plus times minus is minus, so minus i squared. Alright, so what do we have then? There's uh, <coughs> 1 uh, minus i plus 2i is plus i, minus 2i squared is minus 2 times minus 1, because i squared is minus 1, divided by 1 minus minus 1. And so we have minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3, isn't it? So we have 3 plus i, divided by... 2. There's 1 plus 1, minus minus is plus, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore we have W as 3 over 2, which is the real part, plus 1 over 2i. That's the imaginary part. Here we are for the first part. <clears throat> now for the second part. Interesting question. <laughs> so let's move on for the second part. Um, given that instead w is equal to z, okay, and the real part of z is negative, the real part of z is negative, okay, so, now, <clears throat> giving your answer, we need to find z, find z, and giving your answer in the form uh, x plus iy, again, where x and y are real, 
okay so let's do it now we have w okay and what is w w was given as this okay so we have w which is um, in this form maybe we can use that one okay as w or maybe we can use uh, the w here all right so i mean from the question itself all right so if we do that then we're going to have um, okay so z plus i z plus i all divided by i z plus 2 all right this is w and remember w is equal to z so we're going to say it is equal to z therefore i got z plus i plus z is equal to all right is equal to okay, z times i z plus 2 so i got z plus i is equal to z times z is z square i so i z square all right and z times 2 is plus 2 z okay so i got i z squared plus 2 z if you send the z on the other side to the 2 z minus z is plus z okay and the i goes on the other side becomes minus i it's equal to zero now that's a quadratic equation we're going to solve for z therefore we're going to say z is equal to minus one because here it is plus so this b is minus one plus or minus the root of b square that is minus one to the square minus four times a a is i times c c is minus minus i sorry minus i okay so all divided by two a two i because a is equal to i therefore what do we have z is equal to minus one plus or minus the root of we have one minus four minus times minus becomes plus four times i square okay all over two i and therefore z is equal to minus one plus or minus the root of one minus four because i square is minus one isn't it so minus one times four is minus four and hence we have this over two i therefore z is going to be equal to minus one plus or minus the square root of negative three or divided by two i and so that is going to give us let's say um, z is equal to minus one plus or minus root of negative three is i root of three divided by 2i so we have two situations here two roots i mean so minus one plus i root of three all divided by 2i or z is equal to minus one minus i root of three all divided by 2i now we can go further by using um, the conjugate of these uh, of the denominators but the real part has to be negative so maybe we can take a guess and try both of them and see which one's going to give us the uh, negative value the negative form I mean when it comes to the real numbers so let us suppose I take um, I take the minus I'm going to take the minus why because um, this I okay is going to be right so well it's going to be multiplied by the denominator i times i, I square minus one anyway let's let me take the minus anyway so i'm going to take the minus if it doesn't work i'm going to take the plus all right so i'm going to say z in the exams i don't know it's quite hard to guess sometimes so minus one minus i root of three okay all over two i so multiply then by the conjugate minus 2i over minus 2i all right so therefore z is equal to minus 2 times 1 is plus 2 and then there's i with it minus times minus becomes plus 2i times i is i squared root of 3 okay, so all over 2i times minus 2i is minus 4i squared 
Okay, so I got then. Um, maybe I can start simplifying. Got i plus i squared root of 3 over 2. And what that's going to give me? That's going to give me then i plus what is i squared? It is minus 1. So minus 1 times root of 3 is minus root of 3. So plus or minus root of 3 all divided by um, 2i squared. Alright, so minus, minus 2i squared anyway. So that's minus 2 times minus 1 because i squared is minus 1 again. That's here, yeah, 2, yeah, that's fine. So z is going to be plus and minus becomes minus root of 3 all divided by minus times minus is plus. Okay, so we see the real part. Root of 3 over 2 is negative. So what do we have? Z is equal to minus root of 3 over 2. That's the real part, and it is negative. Plus i is 1 over 2. i over 2 is 1 half of i. And so here we are. This is for the second part of the question. I hope uh, that helps. Take care.